Good morning, this is Kelly Hobart from Alpaca Direct and we're here on Technique Tuesday and we're gonna be talking about the Lucky Dragon Shawl and it's by Very Busy Monkey and we just brought these patterns to Alpaca Direct so if you are interested in buying any of her patterns, she is, oh, she's so smart. She's wonderful. She writes very, kind of the pattern that we're gonna be working on today is very detailed. It's sort of a stitch sam sampler type project. So just when you think you're gonna get a little tired of one little pattern, she brings you right to another chart and starts another pattern. So I'm gonna be talking about my journey and I'm gonna be talking about how we keep track of all these different cables when we're on, working on a chart and there's cables all over the place. And then maybe a little bit of cabling without a cable needle. You know how much I love that. And I think it's faster to do cables that way. And I also like not having to carry around a cable needle. So, so yes, Jim. So everyone's coming online. Good so morning, everyone. Chris says hi, and Debbie, and Sherry, hi, Debbie. Good and Kathleen. Morning, Sherry, Kathleen. <laughs> Nice to talk to you all. It's so nice to have you here. And I have had a great weekend this last weekend. We went on an Airstream event and it was wonderful. We got to meet some wonderful people. And so we're enjoying this wonderful weather. And today it's gonna to be pretty hot. It's gonna be up in the 90s. And then I think it's gonna cool off a little bit, right, Jim? In the 70s. There's gonna be some wind coming up here. And then we all have to be very careful for fires. Also, while I'm going along here today, a couple of things that are gonna be coming up in our local community, and that is the fair. And I wanted to talk about entering items into the fair. And I don't know if any of you out there enter items into the fair, but I like, um, I just run around the shop of things that I've done recently and grab a pile of stuff and bring it to the fair. And the reason why I do that is I want our kids to be inspired to learn how to knit and maybe even, you know, fellow um, people who are retired or need a little extra something to do or want to keep their brain going. And, and so anyway, I love encouraging people to learn new stuff and so I enjoy bringing stuff to the fair. But watch those deadlines because they're gonna be coming up, right, Jim? Jim's already telling me, make sure you get your stuff in. And so anyways, I've been working on that, so I wanted to make sure and talk about that. And I wanted to show you this Lucky Dragon Shawl by Very Busy Monkey. This is what the front of the pattern looks like. And it has all kinds of charts. So I thought, I am going to do this really quickly, right? I thought, four charts. Ah, piece of cake, but not so. So here is the finished project, and I'll tell you my journey as I'm going along, right? So I'm working on this knitting, going, ah, oh, 40 rows. I can do this so easily. I should be able to do it in a day. Anyways, it didn't work out quite the way I expected because we have, like, her charts are, this is 81 rows for chart number one, and I'm doing the smaller size and we have cables all over the place. Why don't you turn it toward me? Do you see how there's all these cables up in here? And if you'll notice, Jim, can you zero in on this? How I have these numbers, eight, 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 four, 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 and then in the beginning a seven and a five. That's how I keep track of where my cables are. Before I even knit that row, I will go ahead and count up those knit stitches and just write in a little number in there so that when I knit along I go eight knit stitches cable left cable right eight knit stitches cable left cable right and then I can do it very quickly where if I didn't know the exact stitch counts it kind of slows me down and it increases the chance that I will mess something up and get to the very end of my row and have too many stitches or too few stitches which is never good when you're doing cabling because taking cables out isn't where it's at. It's not that easy and not that fun. So another problem that I had when I was doing this, or shall I say a challenge, when I'm going from chart one to chart two, you see on this whole side, it's the odd numbered rows are the right-sided rows, right? So look at number two. Here is number two. Look where the odd number rows are. They're now on the left-hand side, and the even-numbered rows are on the right. So, when I first looked at this, I'm like, oh my goodness. So, if it's a knit on the right side and a purl on the wrong side, which side is now the right side of the work and which side is the wrong side of the work? Well, 
if I have, for instance, my stitch marker, this one is the pink one got scooted back one. This is my right sided row. If I'm ready to do the first row and I find that I'm over here, I'm on a right sided row. So not to worry, even if the numbers switch from one side or the other, not a big deal because we have our pink stitch marker identifying our right sided row. And when it starts to develop, you can also see the right sided row because the right sided row is the good side of your work. Yeah, so it's pretty easy. And um, I'm working along, let's see where I'm at right now. I finished chart number one, chart number two A, chart number two B, and now I'm starting on chart number three. And then after I do three, it goes four A and then four B and then I'm done. So just because you think you have four charts, it may not be so because you may have an A chart and a B chart. So don't get fooled like me and think you're gonna do it really, really super quickly because it may not work out that way. This hasn't been blocked yet and I am really enjoying these little sections where you go from one section and then it starts another pattern and another pattern. And as we go along, it's just entertaining. So if you're one of those people that like a challenge and maybe get bored kind of easily, this is a great pattern for you. She's a great designer and she's done a good job with her um, patterns. I really like them and that's why I'm bringing them in. Can you move that one forward a little bit? Maybe just move it up sure, and then just so they can, I can get a closer um, view. Spread it out so we can all see it too. Would it, would it help if you go like this? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you start at one side. Mm -hmm. See all those stitch samplers? And it's done out of this sober ball. It's an organic I'll just go like that. cotton that is really nice for the summer. So if you wanted a little shawl and you wanted to maybe even wear it like this, see, if you wore it like that over your shoulders, and do you see how cute it is in the back? Really cute. I love this pattern. Brittany, one of our knitters here at Alpaca Direct, she had done this pattern. I'm like, oh my word, I love that pattern. I must knit it. And so here I am. I'm talking about it today and I'm knitting it and having great fun with it. And the Sober Ball Cotton is a great yarn to work with. Oh, they said they like your shawl that you're wearing. Oh, thank you. I've had this for, well, forever. I don't seem to grow out of my clothes, so I just keep them. None of my stuff wears out either. Right, Jim? Mm -hmm. So I have it for a long, long, long time, but I do like my stuff. So this last week, our prize was for either the dark color or the light color. And which one did you say was winning for today? The light, lighter color by a, by a, the a little bit. The lighter color by just a little smidge. And so this is the Millie Calori Baby and it is a super wash, uh, super fine merino by Lang. And it is a really nice yarn. And so that was the prize for today. And then I was gonna do a prize for our Zabra Ball Cotton, but you know what? I just picked this project out two weeks ago and we had a nice whole stock that came in. And guess what we did? We sold out. So I was thinking that I might give away a skein of the Zauber Ball Crazy, and I don't know what color you guys like, so if you could tell me if you like this bright uh, it's like sunshine a red. red color, or the blues and greens. I thought those were both pretty. So you guys let me know what we should give away for the prize for this week, and we'll be announcing the winner of that next week. And you guys all know how you're supposed to um, sign up to be entered to get into the prize. Um, and you're supposed to talk about your posts that you have, post what you're working on, what you like, the patterns, anything like that, and you'll be entered to win. And then the lucky winner is picked at the very next Tuesday and we announce it on Tuesday. And don't forget to post your photos and or patterns that you have so we can knit with you. And don't forget to tell us where you're from. Uh-oh, Jim, are you sticking the cards yeah. right in front of the camera? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jim's getting a little excited this morning. He's all revved up. Yeah, I know. I understand because I just already went for my run today because I knew it was going to be like super hot out today and I do not want to be running in the sun. I've had too many problems with 
not skin cancer, but precancer, skin cells. So I like to stay out of the sun when I can. So I try to. And I wanted to just take one second again and talk about right cables and left cables and how I cable without a cable needle. Now what I was looking for, oh, I am gonna walk around the table, Jim, and I have my trusty little sample that I've been using for a few weeks now. Oh my goodness, I have been playing outside so much that <clears throat> I have not been spending the time that I usually spend on all this stuff. So what I'm talking about is a two by two left cross, which is slip two stitches to the front, knit two, then knit the slip stitches. And if we look at our right two by two right cross, you would slip two stitches to the back, knit two, and then knit the slip stitches. But I'm gonna show you how to do it without a cable needle. We'll go ahead and start with this right cross first. I'm just gonna knit a couple stitches away from the edge, and then we're gonna talk about our right cross. So the right cross, you hold the yarn, your stitches in the back. So what I wanna do is put my working yarn in the front because if I have to hold those stitches in the back and my working yarn is there, it will get in my way. So I would start by putting my working yarn in the front and slipping two stitches. Then the next thing that I do is I would knit two stitches. Then I reach back there where I'm gonna be holding those two stitches and hold them with my left hand needle, those two stitches. Then I stabilize my stitches with my index finger and my thumb, just holding this whole area in here so it's stable, because I am gonna remove that knitting the knitting needle and reinsert it into those two stitches. And I am gonna go ahead and knit the last two stitches that I had slipped. And that is how you do a two by two right cross. Now we're going to talk about how to do the left cross. So when you're talking about cabling without a cable needle, we already said that with a right leaning cross, we're gonna hold our stitches in back. So if you know that, then you can actually tell that you're on the left leaning cable, you're gonna be holding it in the front. So this time I'm gonna take my working yarn and hold it in the back so it's not in the way. And I would slip two stitches, then I would knit two stitches, then I would take my left hand needle and hold those two stitches in the front. Once again, stabilizing the four stitches with my index finger and my thumb on my left hand. See how I'm holding them there? And then I come out from underneath the two stitches and put those two stitches back on my needle and then knit those last slip stitches. And that is how you do a left leaning cable without a cable needle. And that is how I'm able to cable these charts very quickly by counting the stitches, writing down whatever number it is, and then cabling without a cable needle. So those are a couple of my little tricks that I use. So that is pretty easy to do. If you have not cabled without a cable needle before, I would say give it a try if you think you might enjoy it because it really is quite simple. And once you get the hang of it, there's really not much to remember because a right leaning cable is held in the rear. Right, rear, works for me. <laughs> anyway, so I hope that helps you understand how to cable without a cable needle, how to keep track of all those crazy cables when you're cabling along in your patterns and not get off track, and then how to identify the right side of your work on these pattern charts and not get confused by where the numbers, if they're on the right or on the left or if it's what have you, you take that pink marker and it identifies your right side of your work. So. This next week on Tuesday, I'm thinking I'm gonna do a very busy monkey pattern. Possibly, I don't know. What about Christmas in July? You never did that this year. Yes, I haven't done Christmas in July. Hey, if you guys have any ideas out there, please let me know. I am open to ideas. I wanted to, I have some of this misty alpaca sock yarn that I am using out of my stash. I wanna make at least four pairs of socks 
before winter time so I have some nice alpaca socks and you know how much I love the alpaca because it's self insulating and it's one of the warmest fibers in the world I just love it on my feet and I'm always cold right Jim mm -hmm. I'm like freezing even last night I'm going to bed I'm like see honey I am so cold he's like oh you need to work on that circulation but it's just who I am how I work I run cold so I'm gonna make some more so um, socks and I was thinking I might try this geology pattern and I, there's another pattern that I wanted to make and it's an Andrea Mowry pattern and I'm sure there's some of you have made this and it's called the shift and it is a cowl that is really really cute and it's using mosaic patterns so I'll either use one or the other as you're going along let me know what you like would you rather see the shift or would you rather see the geology sock pattern so you let us know and push that like button if you like what you're hearing or let me know what you want to see for this next week and we can talk about it together and maybe we can knit it together <laughs> so anyways I'd love to hear from you as we're going along and I am need to announce the winner our winner for this was the Millie Calori baby and the prize for this week was won by Sharon Hankins Crosswhite. Sharon, you won! Yay! Here's your Millie Calori baby. All you have to do is get in touch with customer service at alpacadirect.com and we can get it in the mail to you. You'll love this yarn. Nice yarn. Two skeins will get you a nice shawl. Well, that so, was in the, in the Knit Club, wasn't you? Yes, it was a yarn from the Knit Club. That's true. Oh, and today, it, does it close for this month after today? Uh, no, ne the next week, the first part of next week. Oh, the first part of next week it closes, and then it'll be for the club for this next month. The Knit Club. So, um, if you're interested in joining the Knit Club, every month we do a project. This last month, uh, we did a cowl out of this wonderful Millie Calori, and it had some sparkle and then the non-sparkle, and it was a chevron cow. That was great fun. It was great for um, social knitting, right, Jim? Yeah. It was really fun. So I enjoyed that. And if you're interested in that, go to alpacadirect.com. Um, and this else? coming week, we have what you're doing, or next month, you're doing what color work, right? Yes. A little bit of color We're work. We're going to be practicing on some color work. So if you, those of you out there that are interested in doing that, go to Alpaca Direct and you can sign up for it. And um, I think that was about it, right? So I will see you next Friday at um, 9.30 a.m. on Tuesday. And this week we enjoyed this wonderful Lucky Dragon Shawl by a Very Busy Monkey where we're getting to do lots and lots of cables and doing cables without a cable needle and keeping track of our right-sided rows and doing lots of charts. So um, this is a great project for those of you out there who may be um, new to charts and want to learn something or just like little um, stitch, different uh, stitches in here. There's all different. It's kind of like a stitch dictionary, but it's made into a crescent shawl. And this is the crest, the, this is actually what it looks like. So it's a fantastic pattern and it's on a pocket direct. So you guys have a great week and I'll see you next Tuesday.